Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Developing Dallas. So in this episode, there were a few people who requested certain players to be added in. So we will be putting them in. We've got Lael Collins here, who we're going to put in because we do need a better left guard. I mean, we've got a full elite offensive line now, which is going to be a huge upgrade just on any... Pretty much this is one of the only teams in like the NFL at the moment. You can get a good full elite lineman lineup and we're also going to get uh, Glover in here as well need another defensive tackle because we've been rocking with not the best ones we've been rocking with both the Crawford uh, Crawford's two cards and they haven't really been doing insane work so hopefully Glover will step up and make plays but a lot of you wanted Demarcus Ware in there so we're going to put him in I'm going to move uh, Sean Lee over to the left hand side but Demarcus Ware at the moment, he's a 7 foot 6 card as well. So really looking forward to using him. Hopefully, he'll make some plays for us. But it's nice to get a 99 overall player into the team. So as you can see there, that's a phenomenal O-line. Uh, Going to give Romo loads of time in the pocket just because they all have insane pass and run block. To be honest, there isn't a weakness on that O-line. But I'm going to change McLean out for Lee here. Obviously, DeMarcus Ware is the best linebacker we've got. To be honest, that uh, that 97 McLean card as well is really, really good. But obviously, DeMarcus Ware at the moment, since he's about 7 foot 6 or whatever he is, he's going to be playing, hopefully, he's just going to lock down everything on his side of the field. But I'm um, seeing here who I can put into special teams, who can sort of upgrade the team on special teams but it seems like we already have the best possible special teams guys out that we can get as you can see the overalls there just the ones we've got at the moment are much better than anyone else we could get in but if you guys are enjoying the episode so far drop a like on the like button let's try and get 15 likes once again comment who you want me to put in the team down below from the checklist here who we haven't already got i'm hoping or I'm thinking I'm going to put Byron Jones' upgraded card into the team because we need to upgrade the cornerbacks a little bit because Claiborne is doing really well. The 88, Byron Jones does well as well. But you can see we're getting, in certain positions or certain times, we're just getting burnt. And I think upgrading the corners is really going to help in that position. But also, if you're new to the channel and enjoying the videos, subscribe for more. We're getting towards nearly 1.5k subscribers, so I'm absolutely over the moon with that. So thank all you guys for your support on this series and on all my other series. But as per usual, I will jump into a game now with the newly upgraded team with 99 DeMarcus Ware in there. So hopefully you guys enjoy that, but I will see you in the game. So guys, jumping into a game here, we've... Actually got DeMarcus Ware there, as you can see, starting on special teams, standing six foot seven or six foot or seven foot six, actually, I think it is. Um, he's just bulldozing through people in this game. He gets off the block so quickly. And to be honest, I'm using him just to try and get to the quarterback most of the time. And he does a phenomenal job here. As you can see, he gets off the block insanely quick there. First play of the game, puts the quarterback under pressure. And luckily for us, we managed to break up the deep ball. But... You know, he's working his way forward, third and one. He's trying to get in. We get a good block shed, a little bit of lag there, but we stop him getting that first down. Fourth and inches, he's going to go for it. I thought he was going to QB sneak. That's why I'm going to bring McLean up here a little bit. Um, going to fake sort of coverage a little bit. So if he goes for the QB sneak, he's probably going to get it. For some reason, I just can't stop the QB sneak in this game, but he goes for that. And luckily, we managed to break it up and we get the ball back. So get a fourth and inches stop, which is really rare for me to get but i've changed up the offensive playbook i'm using because you guys don't want me to use the mesh play all game but i'm going to try and use it a lot less and try and get some more plays involved you know in my offense just mix it up a little bit i think it'd be good for the channel to mix up the the gaming content a little bit but you know fourth and ten you're going to go four verts he's going to try and use her over the middle which is perfect for me because he just doesn't use it properly and we managed to get the fourth uh, get the first down from fourth and ten there but gonna go fullback dive just getting the easy touchdown early on get a little bit of a lead since he started with ball we're gonna start with ball at second half and i love doing that but 
kick return here. He's going to run out to the left. I think he had Ted Ginn on kick returns, but we slowly get him, slow him down a little bit with clutch there, get a huge hit, and we make him fumble the ball. So it's a, the perfect start for us. I mean, still first quarter. He started with the ball, and we are 7 0 up, and we've got ball yet again, still in the first quarter. But it's second to goal at this point. I don't see any reason not to QB sneak it. Last time I tried to fall back dive it, he's probably going to think I'm going to do that again. So I'll just QB sneak it in, get the easy 14 nothing lead, and we'll go from there. But I'm also trying to use uh, the linebacker a bit more. To be honest, not that well. As you can see there, that was absolutely terrible user in. But luckily, the CPU makes up for that and breaks up the play for me. But as you can see, he's he's not playing badly. He's just got unlucky with that fumble and that fourth in inches. He just got a bit unlucky with that. He um, pitches it off there, which I nearly intercepted. I mean, I knew it was a screenplay, so I was banking on that. I just over-pursued it a little bit, I think. But, you know, live and learn in that play. I won't do that again next time. And I'm just lingering around the middle because I'm not sure where to go on some some place. So any advice on usually the middle linebacker will be greatly appreciated for me because it's something I'm not that good at, as you can tell. But he's peeling out here and makes a terrible read. And Williams is going to make a amazing pick for us there but third and two we've got Ezekiel I'm gonna give Ezekiel a try because he hasn't been in the game much lovely little juke move in there absolutely insane little juke move that potentially little top 10 play juke move there he manages to outrun everyone and run it straight in for a touchdown to put us 21 nothing up so I pretty much couldn't have asked for a better game to record because 21 nothing up not even the end of the first half yet and this guy, he's starting to lose his head at this point, but fair play to him for sticking around because 21 nothing up, a lot of people just back out and quit. But this guy stayed through to this point in the game, which you got to respect. Fourth and eight, he's going to go for it. No reason not to. I mean, he's got to risk something. And luckily, he has no idea where he's going. Lee is closing in quick. And I don't know why he didn't try and run... Like forward there with, I think he had Russell Wilson at quarterback or, or Winston or something like that. But either way, benefits us. I'm going to go with a different play here as opposed to usual, and <laughs> it works out. So we get Williams in there. Nice, easy touchdown, and we're getting a 28 nothing lead at the half. And coming out into the second half, I mean, you can't fault anyone on the team. I mean, at this point, the team is absolutely unstoppable. We get the ball as well, so we're just going to go on an offensive drive. No, I'm not going to bother wasting clock on this one. I'm just going to try and run the score up a little bit, get some nice plays in for you guys, and try some different plays out and see how they work. But Witten wide open over the middle there. I just crowded out the middle. He had no one there anyway, so either... I could have passed to so many people there because so many people were open. Once again... Just going to use Witten where I can because you know he's not going to drop the ball. His catching traffic is insane. I think it's 99 and then he gives everyone a plus two catching traffic. But Des there coming up with a huge catch as well over the middle. Most most receivers would have dropped that. But ultimate legend Des Bryant is just on a next level of receiver. Once again, Romo getting a brilliant release off there through in just imperfect time. Like milliseconds made the difference there. And as per usual, I managed to get to the two-yard line. But I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try a screen because he's probably going to send everyone out the middle. Works out perfectly. And we end up getting, I think that's the fifth touchdown of the game. And I'm pretty sure we've had different people score nearly every touchdown. But this guy here, he's just going to try and lob it deep. We put a lot of pressure on him. And Williams comes up with his second Ooh, interception of the game. And that just put this guy over the edge and he was on so if you guys have enjoyed the video drop a like on the video let's try and get 15 likes comment down below who you want me to put in next episode coming towards the end of the series so also gonna put a poll up soon what new team you guys would potentially want a series around so let me know down below on that as well subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys tomorrow